Welcome to Blonde Cards and Crafts. Let's make something together. Hello everyone, and today we're going to be making this trifold card. And I love this idea. I got it from uh, Jennifer McGuire. Uh, it's not the same exactly as hers, but somewhat similar. And I know that there's loads of tutorials on YouTube for a trifold card, but this is my version of a five by seven trifold card. So this card I'm, I've made as a, a straight 5x7 card, but my next card I'm going to use a scalloped edged 5x7 blank card just to see how it goes. Uh, I think I prefer it using the regular card. The card I'm making is a sympathy card because we all need these in our stash. And this one is going to be a sympathy card at the loss of your dog. So we do need those sometimes too. And I'm going to leave descriptions down below for the products that I use. So this is a five by seven scalloped card and it's scored at five. And this one is five and a half by seven and I've scored it at a half. I've also put some red liner tape and I've put two strips of one eighth red liner tape. It's a really strong sticky edge tape that I'm going to use. So this panel here will go to the right of our card and it'll sit on just like that. So that'll give us our right side opening and our left side opening. I'm going to be using these Creative Expressions and their Craft Dies by Sue Wilson. And I'm going to use these Cloud Dies to um, die cut out my left hand side of the card and right hand side panel. So I've also used some cloud dies. This is 300 GSM card, and this is the top of the last card I made. And you can use these for um, stenciling on the cloud images we're going to do. So first off, I'm going to take my dies out of the package, and I'm going to put one to each panel. So I'll need one for on my right hand panel and then one from the left. So I want to make sure that the front of the card, the panel that is first, is going to have a lower cloud edge than the panel behind it. So this is how I'm going to have them and this is how I've die cut them out. Lovely. So when I die cut them out, I didn't cut them right to the edge and I'm going to do that with my scissors so that I can accurately cut this where I want it. Just like that. Lovely. And I'm going to do the same as well with the actual card blank itself. I need to cut down from the top to meet where the die has cut. So you can do that by cutting down along the score line, but I like to actually cut the score line off. So first of all, I'm going to take off the die, then I'm going to take off the washi tape. Lovely. And then I'm going to cut this piece off, this top piece. Now I'm cutting just before the score line here, but I need to make sure that I cut the score line off. It's just, I didn't have my overhead light on, so I couldn't really see very well what I was doing, but I will go back and tidy that up. Now I can see that I haven't it cut properly, so I'm going to cut up to the score line and just cut off the score line straight up to the top. Lovely. And then we have our card base ready to go. I'm just going to cut off that little bit of a nip there. I like the um, scalloped edge card base done like this. I think it's really cool, but I prefer using just an ordinary card blank without the scallop edge. A bit of sticky glue there on the desk. I'm just wiping that off. But um, yeah, no, this does look good and I'm delighted with it for a finish, but I think the straight edge card blank, um, I just think it looks better. <laughs> but it, it looks, you know, I like this. It's really, really nice. Right, so there we go. That's basically our trifold card. Now what we need to do is 
make our cloud impressions on the card and we're going to do that by using some distress distress oxide i'm going to use a blending brush and i'm going to use my scalloped edge stencil that i've made myself so i've got a scrap piece of paper underneath my card blank just to keep my um, mat clean i'm going to take a piece of copy paper or computer paper and i'm going to put that down on my flap i don't want the inside of my panels getting inked so i have a piece of computer paper i'm going to put that over it and then i'm going to use some washi tape to stick that down now i don't want to put the washi tape on the card itself because i don't want it to interfere with the blending that i'm going to do so i'm going to put it on the paper underneath my card base and on my copy paper so I'm using distress oxide and this one is called broken china and I'm also using some blending brushes and these blending brushes are Emacs design and they're just a generic blending brush that I got off eBay and I'll link to them if I can find them still in stock so I'm going to load up my blending brush I'm going to tap off a little then on my scrap paper and then I'm going to bring the blending brush to my stencil. What I like to do is put the blending brush on the actual stencil and then using a circular motion bring it onto my paper or card that I want to put the colour on. And I'm pressing very lightly in the beginning to get a light amount of colour on and then I press a little bit harder to get a heavier coverage. I'll continue with this technique the whole way down to the bottom of the card and this is the inside panel of our card. And then once I have this done I will do the um, extra panel that we've done as well as the left hand side of this card. So I'll play some music while I continue now to do my stenciling. So that's all our panels done and coloured and I'm just going around the edge there to make sure there's a nice heavier coverage. I got some on my nails but I'll clean that off. So next we need to stamp our sentiments down and I'm going to use a stamping platform to do this. Um, I'm using the Tim Holt stamping platform. It's a great platform. I have the mini Misty. I've ordered the new uh, Misty in black. So I'm waiting for that to come but in the meantime I'm going to stamp down my sentiments now my front panel the first panel you'll see will have blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted and that's from the Bible Matthew verse 5 I think it's chapter 5 verse 4 sorry <laughs> it's so small it was hard for me to see it um, so it's great having the stamping platform because I could give it a second press 
I haven't conditioned these stamps. It's a new stamp set that I got. And this Sympathy stamp set, just looking at it here, I have it on my desk. It's a Crafter's Companion Sympathy Crafts. And I got this from Hazel's Crafts on YouTube, or on um, Amazon. And I'll link to the products that I can down in the description that I can find. I think with this COVID thing going on, a lot of suppliers are now finding it hard to restock with some products. So a lot of products are out of stock in some places. So I'll, again, I will link below what I can find that is in stock. So inside this one, I'm going to stamp the dogs leave paw prints on your heart. And then I'm going to stamp the we're sorry for your loss. Now that second sentiment came out a little bit crooked and I was quite annoyed with myself, but look, it's a handmade card, so we're not going to sweat the small stuff. Now I'm going to finish off with putting the, with sympathy, the large sentiment, and I was just debating where I wanted to put it, but I'm going to put it in the same place I stamped the last card, putting it up near the top. Lovely. And that's that stamped down and I use the VersaFine Onyx black ink to stamp my sentiments it does take a little bit longer to dry but I find it gives a nice crisp finish on the sentiments so I've noticed that the sentiments inside the card are peeping over the inside layer so what I'm going to do is die cut out a cloud and I have a cloud that I just I think I got this set from Aliexpress I'm going to die cut it out on my Spellbinders prism machine anyone else have one of these i recently bought two new cutting plates for it um so i have this die cut out and i'm going to pop that on the card covering up that sentiments where it says dogs leave paw prints on your heart now i'm going to again use my distress oxide to go around the edge of the cloud because i don't want a stark white cloud on our card it'll look out of place and that'll hide my little faux pas with, um, I should have gone lower with that sentiment, but it doesn't matter, it still looks great. So I'm going to stamp little doggy paw prints on my cloud, and I'm also going to stamp two little paw prints beside the blessed are those who mourn. And I'm going to pop a couple of them on my middle panel, and then I'm going to position that so that it looks as if my little pup who's heading up to heaven is going up through the clouds and heading up to that forever field in the sky so i need to make sure that i only put glue towards the bottom of the cloud now i did debate um putting some foam tape on it you know to lift it up but i thought no i'm going to keep it all the same dimension so once that's done, now I can stick this panel onto my card and I'm going to wrap that little edge piece around the back of my card. So it'll be hidden there at the back. You won't notice it so much. And then there we go. That's our trifold card all done and dusted. And really, it, it, it's not a really hard card to make at all. You're just die cutting out your two panels and uh, some distress oxide stamp some sentiments and there you go this card my husband has i was showing him yesterday evening this card and he said it's one of his favorite cards that i've made even though it's a sympathy card and it's you know it's awful having to make sympathy cards but i mean that's life isn't it but he said it was one of his favorite that and the tp card are his two favorite cards that i make at the moment so there you go so I have some teeny tiny hearts that I've die cut out and have in the little bowl there. I'm going to put them onto my card. And I've also die cut out these little birds. Now I've used a charcoal grey, it's like a, a really dark grey, but not quite black cardstock to die cut these out. And I got these little birds in a magazine. It came with, um, I think it was die cutting essentials. This is the nautical scenes, a nine piece die set. It's got a boat, it's got an anchor, um, a wheel, it's got a lighthouse, um, a wave, and the two little birds. So this, this set is what I used. I used the two little birds out of this set. 
I will try and link it down below if it's in stock still somewhere I'll link it down below so I'm dipping the little birds into some glue that I have on the back of my hand and that way I won't be putting too much glue on them a little smudge there so I'll just get that off so now I'm going to put some glossy accents on the card and once I have that done and all my little birds and footprints and hearts with the glossy accents on I'm then going to take my Spectrum Noir sparkle pen and I'm going to go around the edges of my clouds that I stenciled on so there'll be a little bit of sparkle when the card hits the light and that is our trifold card inspired by Jennifer Maguire I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today if you did you might consider giving my video a like if you're a subscriber thanks for subscribing and if not you might consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon down below I'm going to leave you now with some images of the two cards that I've made I hope you'll give a trifle card a go and if you do you can find me on Facebook Instagram and Twitter I'd love if you'd tag me with your card so I can see what you've made so until next time stay safe stay home bye for now <laughs>